Hello friends, I am Alice. In this video, you will learn how to gather logs from the CAPPM UI. Dave is working as a software engineer at Jedmere. He uses CAPPM for monitoring projects, aligning resources, managing execution and forecasting cost. Recently while accessing an application, he receives an error. To diagnose the issue, he thought to check the security logs in CAPPM. Security logs help to detect unauthorized activities and in troubleshooting. Dave logs into the CAPPM using his credentials. He modifies the URL by replacing NPT.overview with the security.logs. This URL redirects to the Clarity System Administration page. The changed URL is server name slash niku slash nu hash action security logs. However, he fails to access the page as he does not have the system administrative rights. Dave sends an email to the system administrator requesting for access rights. After receiving approval from the system administration, Dave logs into the CAPPM using his credentials. Now, he can access the security logs page. Dave selects the required server from the server drop-down list. If he is in a cluster environment then there will be more than one servers available in the drop-down list, provided the beacon service is running in all the servers. Then, Dave selects the required log file from the respective drop-down list. Next, Dave sets the max size of the log file based on the occurrences of the issue. Please note that, if the occurrence of the issue is recent, then select the lower max size. Else select the higher max size to view the old log details. Next, he clicks the Go button to view the logs. Simultaneously, the Download button is enabled. He clicks the Download button and saves the log file into his local machine. Wait a minute. In the cluster environment of CAPPM, how will you identify that the multicast is not working properly? The multicast environment is the production environment where the multiple servers are available. If the users are in a multicast environment, then the users will be able to view the different nodes from the server drop-down list. Next, let us see how Dave edits the configuration of the security logs. Dave clicks the Edit Configuration from the Logs drop-down list to edit the configuration of the logs. The server logs page is displayed. In this edit configuration page, Dave modifies the properties, system logging, action tracing, and trace threshold settings parameters. Dave has to edit these configuration as this will determine how and what kind of log is going to get generated. While enabling any trace on the application, user needs to configure these settings based on the requirements. Please note that, this is the same page where the user can enable tracing by accessing the CAPPM System Administration CSA, of the required PPM instance. Dave clicks the Home button to return to the default home page of CAPPM. Once again, I am back. Do you know the advantage of connecting security logs with the CAPPM? The advantage of accessing security logs in CAPPM is the system administrator can enable the tracing without going to the CSA, so, it saves the time of our system administrators. I hope now you know how to gather logs and edit the configuration without accessing the CSA. Thank you. To learn more, please visit our CA Education website.